Please describe your character. You each can take it. Oh, that's right. Oh, sure. oh yeah, my, don't worry. Uh, my character is a very loyal best friend. He is the think twice of the group kind of guy. Um, I think he is a very scared person. I think he does not want to be there, but he also <laughs> doesn't want to uh, disappoint his friends. And I just think he is just there for everybody too. If they're in, you know, if they're sad, if they're happy, you know, whatever. Wim to me is such sorry, Wim Wim to me is such a dreamer. And um I admire his imagination and dedication. You know, uh his imagination is so strong because he doesn't have a mom and his dad is constantly working, so he's left to make his own fun. And I think that's something so special and he he acknowledges that this test is really stressing him out and he acknowledges that Neil doesn't want to he, he doesn't want to fail to be so that he wouldn't have to, you know, suffer. So that Neil wouldn't have to suffer because of him. And he acknowledges that and he, he's, he's just really stressed. And that's what motivates him to want to go off-world in a way. Because, um, you know, every, the pressure, it's just the build-up, the build-up, the build-up. It's getting too much. And, you know, it's just it's a lot for him. So, hi, I play Fern. Um, Fern's really outgoing and bold and she's not afraid to say what she thinks is right. Um, she likes speeder bikes. Um, to me, she's like kind of like a Han Solo of the group. Um, she's not afraid to fight, and she's she kind of has like a sense of humor that I love, but she loves speeder bikes, and I love ATVs, and we definitely share that. It was definitely fun <laughs> doing that, <laughs> like racing on them. But yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I play KB, and KB is like more quiet on the introverted side. Um, she's very thoughtful and resourceful and she has like special powers because of like her augs and her visor which come in handy with the group but when I was playing and figure out my role I was I was like figuring out a combo between how robotic and like cyborg like I should be and I actually had like a talk with John and he he let me he gave me the creative freedom to kind of make the character my own and kind of create it and yeah, it was really amazing how just everyone gave you the freedom to just work. Yeah. What did you like best about your characters and why? I feel like I'm starting to watch <laughs> You can find oh, them. Um, I think, thing I just like, I just think he's, I mean, I know this is going to sound weird, but like, I just think he's really cute and I just kind of like that about him. <laughs> and I just think he's kind of just like, He's a diva, okay? He's a diva. Um, and he and I just think he shows up and he does his thing and then he leaves. <laughs> oh yeah. Attitude. Walk off. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. Um go for it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um what I love about my character, she's very cool. And to prepare for the role, I actually did like a lot of running and like exercise and different archery, parkour. You get a flex. <laughs> um, it's okay guys oh. <laughs> I'm sorry but that's what I love about her I like that she's really cool and she might not like always vocalize her opinion but she gets things done which I love about her I, what am I what's something I find really admirable about Fern is like she really cares about the people that she she fights for and she'll fight for them and she, you know what I kind of took from her was kind of her confidence and even in real life like I definitely like, it was kind of like a lesson to me. And I definitely take that and like now, it's just like, she's helped me a lot and like. <laughs> I just, I love how Wim represents the hero's journey archetype, so to speak. And um, I love, I love his character arc throughout the show. It's so, it's been so fun to uh, play around with because from point A to point B, it's such a drastic change. And um, it's I, that's always I love playing around with that for my characters and uh, any character that I play. Uh, I love the initial um, the initial preparation process when I first receive the material. I find things that seem familiar, and um, yeah, really just the the preparation process was really fun fun for me. Discovering all of Wim's you know qualities. Um, I love how adventurous he is and how this adventure really changes him and because he thought that the galaxy was all fighting lightsabers coolness fun but then he gets a quick reality check and he realizes it's not all that you know all that he thought it was and it changes him it's okay
Okay. <laughs> Tell us about working with Jude Law and what you like most about working with him. Jude is so present and so giving and in the moment for us, like, he's so, like, grounding. And, like, when I would, when I would have a scene with him, like, it made me, like, act better because he, like, he gives so much to you to work off of, if that makes sense. Yeah, I 100% agree. He's such a generous scene partner. Yeah, he's giving, he's grounded, he's constantly focused, which helps, sorry, which helps uh, other people focus. And, uh, you know, he's so, he not only is he such a nice guy, but he's so experienced, mm -hmm. which makes for some really fun scenes with him. Playing, uh, uh, working alongside him is a lot of fun, and uh, I, I would love to work with him again. He's really motivating because he's such a good actor, and he, he's very giving. Like, when I was doing a scene with him for the first time, it was like, it was amazing, and I was fangirling, and it, it was really a great um, experience to work with such a great actor. Yeah. I mean, I have always seen his, like, stuff before, and, you know, I just remember, like, seeing him be like, oh, that's pretty cool, but then when you're, like, really there and he's doing it in front of you, you're like, wow, this is, like, hardcore, you know, like, it was it was really kind of like, whoa, like, and he, he's really just kind of brilliant, it, like, it really kind of amazed me, and it truly, truly made me a great, a better yeah. actor. And um, and he th I think he was just kind of a mentor a little bit too, because I remember there was even a day where like I was like where I was like you know we were talking about like something with like like ladies and stuff. I was and I was like oh yeah you have to have the good looks and he was like yeah but you also have to have charm and I just remember taking oh, that God. note. <laughs> All right, well I'll see. You. Thank you, Jude. Thank, yes. thank, thank you, Jude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, tell us about the sets. What was your favorite one and why? Our oh, ship was really, really cool. Okay. I remember the Definitely. first day that we went there and like everything you could actually interact with, like all the so buttons. So practical, yeah. Like were practical, yeah. like they were real and like le levers. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was one of the coolest sets I've ever seen. And like the volume, all the sets were real and huge too, I might add. Mm -hmm. I would have to agree with that. The ship was so cool. And like the, oh my gosh, the buttons were so much fun to yeah. press. I, oh, yeah. all of the yeah. buttons were like, <laughs> it was so practical and the sets were so unique. All of the different sets uh, were so much fun. The practical sets, the non-practical sets, they're all so different. And I'd never really done anything like this, so it was so exciting and so surreal. Like I wish we could have done the ASMR. Yeah, I know. Which, oh my gosh. That would have been so satisfying. The ship was like, it was really cool because it was all life sized and you could, it actually went all the way around all the different rooms, which was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Interesting. Last question. If you could describe Skeleton Crew in one word, what would it be and why? Either adventure or journey, but I'm going to go with uh, journey here. I'm going to go with action pack. Exciting. <laughs> Neil. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> fun. Fun? Yes. And why would you say that about it? I would just say because it's an adventure and it's fun and it's just, you, you have a great time watching it too, so I mm -hmm. think it's just fun in that way. It's a journey for you. Yeah. As yeah. well as it's a journey for the character, it's also a journey for you. You're going on this That's journey annoying. with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And you're kind of, you're kind of viewing it through their, through, through the children's eyes and that's what's so special because children uh, leading a Star Wars series or Star Wars anything Star Wars related is so cool because you know we haven't really seen that too much and children bring a certain like wide-eyed wonder to the galaxy that I feel like adults may not always and that's what was so special it was really fun we, have was, some, we had a great stunt team and action really sequences did. so yeah the action scenes were really fun too mm -hmm. Definitely. I say exciting because I feel like there's always something happening like you never get bored because yeah there's just yeah there's always something happening